What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. This is actually the second video in this little series. We go back to the drag races, myself, JD, and Rooster. What's up, everybody? We're going to the fucking race. I can't say fuck. <laughs> I actually had an intro for this, but I completely botched it when we filmed it. What's up, everybody? We're going to the races again. I got Rooster over here. I've seen you do that shit. What's going on, everybody? We got Rooster with us, and we got JD with us. We're going to go do... Uh... Oh, God. Just it. <laughs> I'm just going to edit it all together. And I ended up cussing and doing some other stuff, and I really just didn't want to have that in the channel, so I left it out. After the first video came out, I got a message on Facebook from the lady who runs Pop Gun Raceway. And in that message, she extended an open invitation for me, Rooster, and JD to come in and take photographs anytime and not worry about the gate fees, which I thought was just amazing. She didn't have to do that. They were so nice the first time we went, and then now she's doing this. I was, I was humbled. I felt really, really good. I got a lot of great comments on the video when I posted it to their Facebook page. A lot of the racers commented on it. And I just, I felt, I felt appreciated. And the fact that she reached out to me and offered me, you know, an open invitation to enter free of charge and to take photos, I was, I was humbled. I thought it was awesome. So the first time we went, I would say that there was probably 25 vehicles total bikes, dragsters, there was about 25. This time, there had to have been double that and then some. It was packed. It was packed with drivers, and I thought it was really cool. Apparently, this was the uh, the qualifying for, for uh, what's coming up in June, so there were more racers there, and man, it was just a whole different vibe. Like, so many bikes, so many cars. It was really cool. So, we're walking around and just taking photos of different vehicles and just talking amongst ourselves. And we'll hear people, hey, there's a guy that did the video. And I'll look over and people will wave to me, hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. <laughs> I'll walk over, talk to them for a minute, and they'll be like, yeah, the pictures you took of my car last time were really cool, thank you. I'm like, oh, well, you're welcome. And uh, it was just kind of weird, you know, walking around, being there once before, and that's it. And now people recognize me and are calling me over and saying hi, wanting to shake my hand and talking about how much they love the video. I just thought it was really cool. You know, they didn't have to do that. I thought that was really cool. You know, just random, like, hey, dude, come here, talk to me. So we're there probably 20 minutes or so. And this guy walks up to me. He's like, hey, come here. I'm like, what's up? He's like, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm the announcer. My name's Davey, Davey Munoz. I'm like, oh, He's like, you want to come up and check out the, uh, the announce booth? Well, of course I do. Who wouldn't want to go up and check out the announce booth at a drag strip? So I followed him up there. And during which I snapped a few pictures of him just kind of announcing, looked around, man. I thought it was really cool that he came down from the announce, the, the announce booth all the way down that building, out to the, to the pit where I was standing just to shake my hand and invite me to, to check out the announce booth. I thought that was super cool. Again, man, these, these people at this, this uh, drag strip, off the charts, man. So off the charts. Super, super nice. Like, I, I don't know what I did to deserve, you know, somebody being so nice to me. I just want to jump in here real quick and switch gears and remind you to subscribe if you like the content. And remember to leave a thumbs up and a comment below. I really appreciate it. Now back to the video. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we're there a couple hours by this point and I'm standing in the pit and I'm getting ready to take photos of this 55 Chevy Bel Air that was there the first time I posted uh, some pictures actually in the first video and uh, it was getting ready to burn its its tires and, and get ready to qualify and the guy that, that signals him goes, no, stop. I was like, what? I look over and dude's tire is like buried up under the fender well like I don't, I don't know what happened like or how it happened but what apparently happened was during the, the the drive over to where the race is all the lugs on that particular tire just stripped off he was he wasn't sitting on a tire on that left on that left side now thankfully it happened when it did now i'm never one to go haha look what happened to your car because no that's not cool um, but in this case, I'm thankful. I'm really happy as is everyone else that it happened when it did, because had he taken off from the start line and that would have happened, that car would have flipped and we would have a tragedy on our hands. Thankfully, that did not happen. Everybody came out, rushed, all the different drivers. They went and got different equipment to help get this car up, get that tire out. And they went and pulled the trailer back up. And all these people just worked together to push this car back into the, the trailer. And again, man, I'm, I, I, I sound like a broken record here, but I'm just dumbfounded at the people. Like... Wow, man, like, you don't see, I don't see that every day. Usually I deal with a bunch of assholes. These people, no way. These people are super cool. They look out for each other. They're like a big family. And that's awesome. I love that. Everybody helped this guy get his car into his trailer, made sure he was safe. And a, a tragedy was avoided. Something that really differed from the first time to this time was the way JD and Rooster were. The first time they were kind of like I was, kind of standoffish, just kind of feeling everything out. This time you could tell they're having a good time. They're joking around with me. They're joking around with each other. They even took a selfie together up on this bridge, which I'm just like, really? Like you, you guys took a selfie? Why? Like. And then, you know, Rooster's following JD with the GoPro, just kind of following him down the stairs and stuff, just kind of annoying him. I thought that was pretty funny. So they obviously had a good time as well. Also, we will be back in June for our quick yep. NHRA National Open on June the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. So you better mark your <laughs> back. Come on! <laughs> so at one point, there's this uh, this guy that, that does maintenance on the track, and he has this thing. It's, it's kind of like a steamroller almost, but the front of it, instead of being just a big steam roll, you know, a big roller, it's like bristles. And he goes down and he kind of roughs up the track and kind of sweeps debris away, sweeps the rubber away and things like that. Well, when he's driving, he's got only a certain amount of time to get this done. So he goes down one end, turns around, comes back, goes around, flips, you know, comes back and, and does it again. 
Well, during that time, JD was in like right in his way. And dude's coming right towards him and JD's like not paying attention. And Rooster's like, you might want to move. And so he like moves out of the way. And then he's, the guy goes to make a a U-turn and JD's in his way again. And then he just starts running away from him again. He almost got hit. (laughs) And the guy's laughing. The other guy comes over. He's like, he'll, he'll run him over. He, he can't really stop. I'm like, hey, man, he gets in the way. Like, that's what happens. Like, we're the ones in the way. You guys do your job. I just thought that was funny. Uh, we all laughed at him. And don't think I forgot about the photos. There's going to be photos all throughout the video. There might have already been some. There's definitely going to be some towards the end. So make sure you hang around and check those out. And speaking of photographs, make sure you stop by my PayHip store at payhip.com slash Jeff Gresham Photography where you can pick up some pictures of dragsters, bikes, all kinds of cool stuff. They're only 10 bucks each. So again, I need to thank all the staff of Top Gun Raceway. Um, Everybody was just phenomenal. Uh, I I can't say enough good things about everybody that's there. Everybody's just so nice, so polite, willing to work with you. Get you know, offering us to to come in free of charge just to take photos. You know, just because they they like the video, like that's super cool. And I plan on going back a lot. Uh, there's actually an event coming up June 10th and 11th where I'm going to have to be in both the dirt track and the drag strip at the same time. How I'm going to pull that off, I don't know. I think uh, I'm going to be at the, the dirt track on Friday, the drag strip most of the day on Saturday, and then at the, the once it starts getting darker on Saturday, head back over to the dirt track, get the Destruction Derby. That's coming up June 10th and 11th, so there'll be a video on that. So, yeah. That, that's what's coming up. It, it's going to be crazy. And I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. So until next time, spread some love, man. Be nice to somebody. You'd be surprised what it does for their day. And don't forget to go out and create something, too. Peace out.